throwback to like many, many hours ago when I was like, oh yeah, we're pretty much done the design project. Let me just work on my other design project. Well, we weren't pretty much done the design project. Alrighty guys, what is going on? So it is Monday morning here, Monday at 8.43 in the morning. Just hopped off the train. So it's another busy week here. Um, there's only th three weeks left of classes, so stuff's wrapping up. I have a design project due later t today. And I'm gonna start on my adsorption assignment. Um, we're researching CO2 capture from ambient air, so pretty interesting assignment so I'm gonna start on that now. This morning wasn't the most interesting because it was basically me just like flipping through articles and things, trying to just find any shred of information. So, t took the tr train home. Now I'm just trying to find this heuristic. We're super close to finishing this t t design project that's due tonight. So a heuristic is basically like something that we know to be true, not necessarily because it's proven by any like first principles, like any like, um, mathematical equations or anything, but something we know to be true because it is observed. The professor said that the temperature change in each effect should be no more than five to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that's just something she said, but we need like the wording for it. So I'm just flipping through the textbook. So the textbook that looks like a phone book, but it's actually a nice textbook. It's a complete and utter waste of time as can be expected sometimes. But I did find a little janky website here instead that says that the range is um, 16 to 27. 16 to 27 is not five, but like, hey man. Something I've learned in Eng is like, usually like, I'm not sure if this is like unique to Chem Eng or All Eng. I feel like it's All Eng, but like Chem Eng, a bit more so like there's never like a complete like finite value there's always just like a range or like a rule of thumb or like yeah this usually works or, like this is kind of a thing that sounds good and then you just slap like a 50 percent safety factor on it you're like yeah like we'll assume this assume that assume that so this is calculated it might not be 100 percent accurate so in case it isn't we'll just make the walls of the tank like 50% thicker, or be sure that the pump is 50% bigger than it has to be in case such and such, or make sure that the heat exchanger can, ex can account for 50% more heat than originally expected. So it's just always about getting close, using the information you have available to get like the best possible estimate you can, and then accepting the fact that that answer you calculated is most likely wrong. So then you just add 30%, 50%. And it, it's different depending on if you're dealing with a reactor or a evaporator or something. Um, that like amount of safety factor is different. But usually it's just like 30 or 50%. Just slap it on there and then you're like, all right, well, <laughs> this thing's good to go. With that being said, now... Um, I have that TA meeting tomorrow, actually for this course. Um, these two courses go hand in hand, so you can use like the same textbook for both. But for process synthesis design economics, where I'm de designing a chemical process, um, I have to do like a bunch of the project for tomorrow. And like, not because I'm a procrastinator, like partially because I am a procrastinator, but like also partially because there's five other courses to do, and honestly, there just isn't a ton of time um, to work on one individual thing. I haven't done a lot of it, so let's see what we can't get done now. Alrighty, guys.
guys. It's now 12.14 at night. Just finished that design project. So, throw back to like many, many hours ago when I was like, oh yeah, we're pretty much done the design project. Let me just work on my other design project. Well, we weren't pretty much done the design project. <laughs> But there's always just like so many more things. Just like, I don't know, there's always something else, some sample calculation thing. You think you've got everything. I don't know. The um, um, Microsoft Word document ended up being like 33 pages, like 8,000 words. And like it was literally crashing everyone's computer at the end and everything. Like, bro, it was nuts. Absolutely nuts. So, as I said, now it's 12.15 at night and I haven't even started what I was going to do for the other design project where I have the TA meeting tomorrow. So now I have two options. So, like, either way, the work gets done. Like, the one thing, the one constant is it always gets done. But the question is, do I go to bed now, wake up early and do it then, or do I just grind it right now? I don't know. Because I'm, I'm gassed. I'm absolutely fried. I think my brain is absolutely cooked. So it's 12.16 right now, so I'm thinking, okay, I'll get myself till 1 a.m., do as much as I can till one, go hard, and then go to bed at one, and then depending on how much stuff I have left when I go to bed, will dictate when I set my alarm for tomorrow, and then I'll wake up and finish what I need to finish. I just wanna go to bed. But that can't happen. <laughs> gotta get it done. You always gotta get it done, baby. Alrighty guys, it is now 12.52 at night and I think we're gonna pack it in here. So I added this whole section, all this light blue area. So basically like the dark color has converged. Um, so like the math works out basically. But for all the light blue it hasn't because I think I fucked up the uh, reactor here somehow. So then every stream after that's wrong. So I'll ask the teams tomorrow how that works. So honestly, I've, it says, have a plan for s separation technologies. Yep, I've got my evaporator here, followed by a distillation column. So that's how I'm gonna separate. Um, a strategy of control systems. Well, I jotted down for the control systems. I'm gonna have a level controller on that to make sure that the tank doesn't get too full and a uh, temperature controller after every heat exchanger to make sure that the outlet temperature of the heat exchanger is good. And if it's not, then we can affect that by more or less cold or hot utility stream. Um, and a partial hysis simulation. So that's what that guy is, a partial hysis simulation. So, I don't know, you, you t t t t t tell me, is this, is this, is this complete? It was complete. So I just finished the TA meeting now, went well, showed them the simulation. They liked it, had a few questions, they answered them. Yeah, it was good.